Hi there, I'm Jim with First Line Equipment, and today in front of us we have this beautiful, gorgeous La Nueva Era Quadra that's made in Italy. Uh, this is an E61 heat exchange machine, which means you can steam milk and extract espresso at the same time. Uh, you have uh, no burn or cool touch steam and hot water wands. Uh, you have a boiler pressure gauge, 3 liter reservoir, 1.8 liter boiler at a fabulous price. If you check our website, you will see the pricing of this unit when compared to other machines in this class. This machine has a nice design on the side. Please note that the body panels on the side are made of plastic and they have a chrome color finish, polished chrome color finish. In the front, we have stainless, the drip tray made of stainless, the cover which has this white film on a brand new machine is made of stainless. There's a plastic tray inside uh, for easy cleaning so you're not cleaning the stainless steel. You have a stainless steel frame, stainless steel back. Back here you have uh, your plug uh, to put uh, the electrical power cord in. And inside here, which you don't find on pretty much any other espresso machine in Italy, is actually a fuse in here. And if you get some type of surge or something coming to a line, sometimes that fuse catches it. So that's a really nice safety feature that you don't see on other machines. Again, this is an E61 group head. One thing that we do like is that La Nueva Era puts rubber bands here and puts co a covering, foam covering over the hot water wand and over the steam wand. Why is that important? In transportation, you don't want this moving and hitting the front panel. The other thing which we find unbelievable on this machine is it actually has ETL approval. That's the electrical approval. So another step forward. You have your hot water valve and your steam valve on this side. Here you have your power switch. Turn power on and off. Not in the back, but right here in the front. Stainless steel cover on top with the white film. Again, it is removable once you receive the machine. Most important thing to check when you receive the machine is this uh, water softener. You will see some uh, water residue because the machines are tested in Italy by La Nueva Era. Uh, there could be a little discoloration. This you do need to remove and recharge using our instructions. If you can't find them, please email us once you, after you purchase the machine and we'll supply these instructions for recharging. Key thing to remember is that this screen right here uh, is not broken or this side is not broken and there's no resins coming up the hose. Please inspect that. If those resins get up into the hose and into the pump it will actually damage the pump and the pump will have to be replaced. Back here you have your reservoir and actually I took apart the machine that's why the cover is coming off. But you have your reservoir and a nice feature and one second here I misalignment Go. That's my fault. Uh, nice feature and accessory that's included is this water pour tool. So, say you want to refill it, you put the water pour tool here, and if say you have cupboards up on top, you can pour right from the front. Now we do sell this as an option for other machines if you're interested. And the only thing that you have to be careful is when you get near the top, you don't want it to overflow. So you can push it to the side and you can watch the water flowing in and making sure that we don't overflow. You can actually hear a little bit of a sound difference. Pitcher is not included and again using this tool it makes it nice and easy and that's included that tool right there here we have our power cord we're going to plug that into the back of the machine gonna plug it in and we're going to power it up put the drip tray in place that you hear right there is the vibration pump so this is a vibration pump machine it is a tank model. It is not a direct plumb or a direct water connect machine. 
Again, I removed the screws in advance so we can get uh, a, a pixie on the inside while this is filling. You can open up the hot water valve and also remove the covers. The green light comes on to indicate the power and there is a two spout portafilter filter included with the machine. Again, an E61 group head. We'll lock that in place. There's a two cup basket. It comes with a one cup basket. This tool was actually used to remove, uh, the Allen key wrench was used to remove the screws. That's not included. We have a, a scoop cleaning brush for the group head for the gasket. Blind filter insert made of rubber for back flushing, so this machine is back flush capable. Uh, it also has a plastic tamper. I consider these useless. All the manufacturers give cheap plastic tampers, except a few. Take a look at our website, find a really good tamper uh, that will be 58 millimeters for this machine, and also what I call useless instruction manuals. You will learn more on the internet than pretty much any uh, instruction manual. So you can read this, uh, but if you have questions, certainly email us. On the inside of the machine, we have our pressure regulator. It also shares the OPV and the safety valve. So in case the uh, boiler overheats for a, a failure in the pressure stat, and that usually can happen if there's a lot of lime steel, the machine will overheat. Uh, so there's a safety valve built in. There's a relay right here on the side that's connected to the pressure, for this pressure stat. On a small machine like this, and a lot of small machines, they're usually small pressure stats. And they click on and off. So you'll see the pressure gauge move uh, while the machine is heating and, and cooling, and it goes back and forth. And you'll hear the little click, which is the switch. Well, that click builds carbon buildup on the pressure stat. To alleviate that, uh, La Nueva Era put the switch here because uh, this switch is cheaper to replace but it also can be cleaned. On the pressure stat, some customers have cleaned it but it's not advisable there. In here you have your heating element and again 1.8 liter boiler. We've actually used this machine in a small catering environment, off-site catering, and this machine's got some uh, good power. As you can see, uh, this version here, version 2, with the cool touch wands, also has the insulated boiler that takes the heat uh, and dissipates it out the side so the water reservoir doesn't get as hot. The downside to insulation is if you have the machine on for two, three hours, you're not going to get as much heat buildup to preheat and, and pre-warm your cups. So in our industry, there's always trade-offs. So another trade-off, cool touch wands typically have a, a vinyl or silicon or Teflon hose inside the pipe here and that's why it's th thicker so the throughput is lower so in a home environment or a small catering environment it's adequate but if you need a lot of horsepower you need to get away from the cool touch and move towards uh, the burned ones that have a lot more throughput so here again insulation great for saving energy dissipating the heat sideways and up uh, but you're not getting enough to preheat the cups Another place uh, that La Nueva Era didn't skimp on is the heat exchange pipes. These are the thermal siphon tubes that go to and from the boiler to the group head. As the water heats in a boiler, it forces water through one tube, comes out the other, and the cold water or cooler water returns for recycling of the heat. And that's what actually heats the group head, is the thermal siphon loop. Here on uh, this model by La Nueva Era, the Thermal siphon tubes are 10 millimeters. Typically, in this class of machines, you're going to need to see 12 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 8 millimeters, and in some cases, 6 millimeters. Why is that important? It has to do with the flow of the water. It also has to do with overheating. Typically, on the smaller pipes, uh, in most in most machines, when they're 6 millimeter or 8 millimeter, you're going to see a little more overheating of the group head. You can see it on the 12 and the 10, but what La Nueva Air has done. Uh, with us working with them, because on the first batch of machines that we brought, it didn't have it, but afterwards we worked with them and we got a restrictor replaced, so it restricts the amount of water flow. Now some people may say, well, the 6 millimeter pipe can do the same. And not really, because it's still overheat. So 
they put a restrictor in here. Now, again, trade-offs. What is the downside? Well, with the restrictor, if you get lime scale buildup, so you're not recharging the water softener once a month, you're not descaling the machine, that restrictor will build lime scale. So some customers, not just this machine, but a lot of E61s have the same problem. You will not get proper water flow in that loop, in that thermosiphon loop, and the group head will be cool to the touch. Okay, so it's good to recharge a water softener and to descale the machine. And we also have instructions for that. So if you need uh, any type of uh, assistance, just send us an email or contact us, let us know the machine, and we'll be more than happy to provide you a link with our instructions. There are certain uh, competitors of ours that don't want you to descale, and that's certainly fine, but a light descaling is, is, is okay for the machine. Now the machine is heating. You could probably hear a little gurgling. That's the bleeder valve. What hap this machine has a bleeder valve because when the machine is very hot and the boiler is very hot and it's cooling, if there's no bleeder valve, basically it will create a vacuum and that will develop a false pressure. And I opened the hot water tap there and I got water spilling out. And the machine has an auto refill. So when water comes out of the boiler, it's automatically refilling uh, into the boiler. And that's maintaining the level of water in this boiler. And why is that important? Well, you want the water level to be at least above the heating element. If the water level drops below the heating element, that heating element that's horizontal, basically what happens is it exposes it to air. And when it's exposed to air, that's when it can go into a meltdown and get damaged. So this is why also if you read in some of the forums uh, where I posted online, not to remove more than four ounces of, ounces of water out of any of these machines in this class. Uh, it's just a safety precaution so that water level doesn't drop too far down and damage the heating element. Can't see here, but the pump, oops, the pump is on the bottom and the brain unit, uh, the electronics is on the bottom. Now, it's actually good that it's there because it's away from heat. It's protected on this machine. Uh, so in case there's a little any internal water leaks, but we like to keep electronics away from heat. Electronics on machines where they're near the top have a higher uh, fault rate than when they're on the bottom. So we really like it when it's on, it's on the bottom. And also the pump, it's not getting heated. And as you can see, we have some water dripping here. Nothing ever goes right on a video, but we, we take it as it is. And the machine typically takes about 20 minutes uh, minimum to warm up because you have this E61 group head. We do have the internal parts and we have a lot of parts for this machine. You check on our website and you'll see that we actually stock a lot of parts just in case something happens. And when you're looking at vendors, it's always a good idea to see how many parts they have for the particular machine and if they have them available. Uh, and we do a, a very good job here as one of the business partners. I want to make sure we're able to service our customers in case an issue does come up. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching the water dripping. We hope you enjoyed it and have a great day. Thank you.